This is well-known world record holder Zane Kanani. Zane is mainly known for his absolute dominance in 2x2 two two officially, holding almost a top 20 official 2x2 two two averages ever. Zane is the only person who has achieved 100 singles under one second in competition. With a global of sub 1 at home, it's only a matter of time until the world record is broken with a sub 1 average. And on June 14th, 2023, he almost does it. With two impressive counting times of 0.71 and 104, he only needed a 1.22 or better to get the world's first sub-1 average. With many sub-1 former unofficial world record averages at home, will he finally be able to do it officially? This is the most unoriginal thing I've ever done. Zane Kanani is a speed keeper from the US, specializing in 2x2 two two and skew. He holds the 2x2 two two world record average and he also holds the skew world record average and single. But on the 17th of July in 2021, Zane was unlucky enough to get a sub 1 world record average fail. His first time was a 0.98 and his second time was a 2.47. Then, Zane gets a 0.9 and a 0.92, counting two sub 1s. Zayn needed a 1.15 or better to finally break through the sub-1 barrier officially, but then it takes a turn for the worst. Zayn fumbles and gets a counting 2.47, ruining the entire average. According to the description of the YouTube video, Zayn stated that he had a 7 move solution for the final scramble and he only needed a 6.48 TPS to beat sub-1. And unluckily enough, he chokes out of a sub-1 average again after almost two entire years. But this just proves that Zayn is getting closer and closer and will eventually get a sub-1 average. Okay, now that the something so part of the video is finally done, which is really unoriginal and pretty boring, let's get on to the five reconstructions of his world record fail average. Also, just a quick disclaimer, I'm on a completely different setup and so will the reconstructions will be on like a wooden table. Because as you can clearly see, I'm not home. And I have a really good editing... Um editing setup right now and it's great um yeah hopefully the video will be out before i get back home but i don't know okay enjoy the reconstructions bye now i'm going to be reconstructing zane Kennelly's 1.08 world record fail average 0 0.97 without the plus two i want to thank scooch cubing for the reconstructions he put up on 2x2 solvers i believe zane used the gan 251m pro which is pretty cool because he used to use the Volk, so he switched mains Anyways, I'm going to be using the MGC Elite to reconstruct. Let's begin. Zane's first solve was a 0 0.71. So Zane starts with an X and a Z prime rotation. I use an L2 to pair this block up. U, R prime, F prime, and a simple insert like this. And a U, A, U, F. I'm really bad at 2 by 2 and this is going to be super embarrassing, but it looks something like this. So Zane's second solve was a 0 0.7, which was the best solve of the average. Zane starts with a Y prime and R U prime R prime F R prime F prime R2 U R2 prime. This solve actually contained LS, which stands for last slot in 2x2. It can be seen here. So he starts off with R U prime R prime F R prime F prime. This is a last slot case. Just like that. Zane's third solve was a 1.48. So he does a Y rotation, R, U2 prime, R, U, and this is an EG1 case. So F prime, sexy, R, U, R prime, F prime, insert. For his fourth solve, Zane got a 1.04. So he stuck with the same orientation. He did a U, L, and this just goes straight into a TCLL plus one case. U prime, R prime, F, R, F, and then U2, R, U2 prime, R prime, U, A, U, F. And for his final solve, Zane got a 1.16 plus two. No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is the solve that cost him the sub 1 world record average. So Zane starts with a Z rotation. He does a R, F prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, 
and this is actually a cancellation to this easy CLL. So do the U2 prime, F, R, F prime, and insert. And this is the AOF which you fumbled on, getting them a plus two. I hope you're not going to bully me in the comments for my really bad 2x2 two two skills. But yeah, that was Zane's world record fail average. Again, a big thank you to Callum from Scooch Cubing for sending out the reconstructions for these. If it weren't for that, I wouldn't have made this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to buy this cube from this video or any other cube, make sure to buy it from the cubicle and use my code NDS to get a whole 5% off your entire order. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'll see you next time.